How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be making our enemy shoot a gun at an angle towards our player. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to start by making global variables. To do this hit V on the keyboard. We're going to make a first global variable called EX, then we're going to make one called EY for our enemy X and enemy Y. Then we're going to make one called PX and PY. And from there we're going to set these values, we're going to set these variables in the every tick. We're going to give them the value in the every tick. So we're going to say system set the value of ex to equal object enemy dot x. Then we're going to set the value of ey to equal object enemy dot y. Then we're going to keep going. We're going to say system set the value of px to equal object player dot x. And this is good habit uh, because you want to uh, store your your information in variables. It's a it's good coding habit. It's very popular. It's very common to do in other engines here. Let's set this to py to player y. So now when I actually go to type out uh, my code, I can actually just abbreviate and use these variables. So it's actually even a shortcut too. So what we want to do now is we want to set our position of our gun. So what I have here set up is our player, which is just a basic player with the platform and the scroll to behavior. I have a bullet with the bullet behavior and a destroy outside the layout behavior. I have a gun that has no behaviors whatsoever with the image point to the left. And it has a bullet uh, origin point at the tip of the gun there. And then I have an enemy with the platform behavior and a direction of uh, instance variable. So we've done a tutorial on basic enemy AI movement. So it's the same enemy AI movement. Uh, my concert shoe is messing up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to set the position of the gun to the image point of our player or of our enemy, which I didn't show you, but it's there. So what I'm going to do is object enemy dot image point x gun object enemy dot image point y gun. So now every single tick we are setting the gun to be right in the center of our player. So if we look at our enemy here. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I don't have that. I thought I had it. So right at the center of our player. Now this is probably just, you know, kind of pointless because I don't have any arms on this player or anything at all. Um, so this is kind of pointless, but at the same time it's good practice since you probably are going to have a player or enemy that is not the, um, not a square. So we're setting the gun to the position of the middle of our enemy or to wherever our arms would be. Then what we want to do is two things. Let me actually group this together and call this the enemy AI and hide this because we don't need this. Uh, what we want to do is we want to compare the distance and then we actually want to compare the uh, orientation of the player of the enemy. So to do this we're going to say system compare two values we want to use the distance function. Now the distance function is going to get two objects and it's going to compare the distance between the two. So it's kind of like using the line of sight behavior but it's way less uh, performance heavy. So what we're going to do very simply is we're going to get the enemy's x position the enemy's y position, the player's x position, and the player's y position. And we're going to find out if it's less than 100. Now we're going to mess around with this number a little bit, but right now we're going to find out if it's less than 100. And if it is, what we're going to do is we're going to set the enemy angle towards px and py. So we're going to set the angle towards the player x and player y. Now only if the enemy is close to or less than 100 pixels from the player position. So if it is, then what we're going to do is we're going to say every 0.09 seconds let's have the system create the bullet object let's create the bullet object on layer 0 since there's no other layers but we're going to have it create at object enemy uh, dot image point oh no sorry object enemy gun dot image point x bullet object enemy gun dot image point y bullet Okay, so now it's going to create our bullet, but it's not actually going to set our angle towards our player when we're moving. So to do this, we're going to set the angle of the bullet to the angle function, which is going to do the same thing as the distance function. It's going to compare two objects and, and calculate the angle between them. So we're going to say, we're going to set it to, uh, we want to do this to the enemy gun. So this is something that you might want to store. Object enemy gun dot X, object enemy gun dot Y, PX and PY. Cool. So now we have the angle that we want to actually store. And we need to make sure that we do this here and not here because this will actually 
uh, not set the motion every time a bullet is fired. All right, the final thing we want to do here, this is pretty much the bulk of our code, but we want to actually correct for the orientation of the enemy. So if the player is greater than, we want to find out what to do for our enemy. So what we're going to say is compare the X position. We're going to find out if the enemy is greater than player X. And if it is, then we're going to set the mirrored to true. So we're going to have this at mirrored and we're going to set the flipped of our gun to flipped just like this. Uh, then we're going to take this entire event and hit X on the keyboard and we're going to copy and paste these and we are going to reverse them. So we're going to see this work and let me make sure that this is running an NWJS here. Let's go to the layout. Let's go here. Okay, it is. Let me hit play. And we're going to see this. So I have default controls over this. And you're going to see when I'm in, when I'm 100 pixels less than, you're going to see it working. You're going to see it flipping every time I compare to the X. But when I'm away, it's going to be kind of stuck there. And this is something that I wanted to show you because this is, imagine there's like a circle around him, around the enemy, and it's only going to work when we're, we're entering in the circle. Uh, and in this case, it's the circle is less than 100 pixels close to it. So this is good practice, and this is also just kind of good, um, this is really just good practice is what it is, but it's also just good to know how to do these kind of things. Now, if we actually bump up our distance, and if we put this to something like 500, uh, and we hit play here, then you can actually see the gun shoot every single time because it's actually calculating the distance without any problem. So there we go. We have the enemy shooting the gun, uh, and it's actually working out very, very well because now there's no hesitation because we're not too far away. So now the angle will never actually freeze. And when that angle freezes, it kind of gets in the way a little bit. But that is all that I have for this tutorial. We can obviously do a lot more to this. We can add in collision objects. We can add in everything else. Make sure you're destroying the bullet outside the layout because otherwise you're just going to have a lot of objects, even if it's even if it doesn't slow your project down, you still want to make sure that you're destroying them at some point. But just like this, we have very simple enemy AI. Uh, obviously, the enemy itself can have more uh, abilities to it. So this is kind of like your action platformer, basic enemy AI. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like it and leave a thumbs up. Uh, which is the same thing as liking it. Leave a comment below telling me that you liked it. And if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe. I'm doing daily videos. And in addition to that, I'm doing some live streams. So if you want to find those out, you can follow me on Twitter. Also, I have the Mega Course and it's becoming a thing. We're doing Mega Course videos a whole lot more frequently now. It's getting The ball is rolling with that. So I'm really excited about that. We're doing 10 different games, five for desktop, five for mobile. It's a huge course and you can get it uh, for $25 in the description below. So be sure, be sure to check that out. Be sure to share this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.